Hello, everybody. Welcome to the fourth episode of the Crusader Kings 3 Manichaean campaign. This is the Ash Heritor, uh, in case you were expecting anybody else. I'm not sure why you would, but, uh, you know, got to announce my name, right? Here we are, uh, dealing with the issues of the previous episode, where we may have murdered uh, the Count of, uh, what is it, Guntag? No, wait, Toksun, this one, yeah. <laughs> Hard to keep track of all these vassals that we're scheming against, right? Uh, we may have murdered the previous Count of Toksun while we were raising the young Countess-to-be Suarte. Um, and she, uh, you know, went along with it and pretended to be the good child, but as soon as she took the, you know, her position of power, she revealed that she's been harboring a deep grudge. It's really, like, come on. It's not that big of a deal. I only killed your father. He was a bad man. He wormed his... He weaseled his way onto my council. Like, come on. Weasels are worse than worms. And uh, forced himself onto the council, even though he was not qualified for anything. So I had to get rid of him somehow. So, come on. You shouldn't be hating me this much. Look at that. Revoked my title. Nemesis. Rival. That's... If we ever want to get her on our good side again, we're gonna to need to do a lot of work, and I don't think that's ever possible, so we're just gonna to have to deal with her. Now, I did raise her, um, and I am still playing a just and... Eh, mostly just a just character. Um, so, when I win this war, which I will, because I'm going to destroy this little army that she has and retake my capital and then take hers, and, uh, that'll be that. I... I'm not going to kill her. I'm, you know, I'm going to... Revoke her title, because I've already done that. Um, and then I'm just going to banish her away. Uh, we raised her, after all, we're not going to kill her. Um, now, so, yeah, let's 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 do that. So first things first, we deal with that army, which should be easy enough to do with. Um, yeah, a couple of other things that uh, need to happen. I need to be very wary of, like, my neighbors and what everybody's opinion of me here is. So, like, Jetsu, I don't know, I can kind of deal with you. The Samanids, I'm going to actually sway the, uh, the Shah of the Samanids here. Just because I don't really want to uh, deal with any potential wars, any other potential wars than the ones we have. So, unfortunately, uh, two other counts rose up in rebellion. So, um, there's this Marzaban uh, Kubasar of uh, Kimkol has joined um, Suarte and the Countess, uh, or Marzaban, sorry, I should use the proper per Persian terminology here, uh, Ipikel of Kimtag has also joined her. Uh, now, both of them... <sighs> See, I can understand why they might join her. What I did was wrong, but it had to be done. Um, so I'm not going to punish them. And strictly speaking, I'm going to let her get off with a, uh, a light punishment as well. So, we'll destroy her army. Unfortunate that so many commoners have to die for our schemes, but, uh, you know, what else are commoners good for, am I right? <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Alright, we have some victories. We're pulling that war score back. Unfortunately, my wife is in prison, so if she does decide to execute my wife, we may have to think think again on what we're going to do with her once we capture her. I don't think I'm going to kill her, regardless of what she does. We did raise her. Um, but... She may end up staying in our prison for quite some time. Before I finally let her out. You know, it's it's an eye for an eye world. If she kills my wife, I guess I'll be able to understand at some point, because I did kill her father. Uh, it'll take time to understand, though. During which, she'll be locked in our dungeons. Alright, so, um, yeah, as if you recall from last episode, we expanded, we took uh, Vijaya, we, we did all kinds of stuff. Uh, we, we are now a kingdom, we are now uh, officially the kingdom of Khotan. Alright, here we are. Um... Okay, we have... Oh, we're being raided, too. Okay, that's somebody else being raided, but yeah, nothing... Well, that's my current enemy being raided right now. I'll, I'll deal with that later. But first I need to take out the, uh... The capital of this revolt. Alright, um... We're losing money, but we have a lot of money, so it should be okay. Um... Speaking of which, actually, our... Well, sites, four out of three. How is this... How is this even possible? Uh, decrease to size 3. I'm guessing that's going to have significant uh, penalties. 
if I have it above its maximum size. I don't even know how it might get above its maximum size, but I suppose it did, for reasons. Speaking of which, I'm going to actually create another men-at-arms regiment. Um, so we have light footmen, we've got light horsemen, and we've got onagers, all of which I want to keep. Um, so to deal with potential mounted threats, I want to uh, found a regiment of pikemen. I wish you could name your regiments. Maybe you can. I don't know. Go go away. All right here we go. Levy up, guys. All right, that's going to be uh, her last resistance here. A couple hundred men standing, fighting in the hills of uh, Narinkara. No, Boston. Boston. Alright, war score is approaching. Uh, we've taken some captives. I'm not going to do anything untoward with any of the captives we take. Um, I will gain hooks on them, so that could be useful later. Uh, min. Yeah. We'll just ransom you. It's fine. So I could probably use hooks at some point. Alright. Yeah. Oh my god, they keep levying up more men. Doesn't stop. Alright, well, whatever. We're gonna win anyways. I'm bumping us up to speed 5. And, uh, let's hope nothing too crazy happens. I don't know why this... religious conversion thing keeps coming up. Uh, arrange marriage? No, I don't need to arrange my son in marriage just yet. We'll do that later. Uh, you need to increase control places, mate. Why don't you like me? Hmm. So, hey, an opportunity. Uh, yeah, let's... well, hold on. I'm gonna try and maintain subtlety. I wanna make sure that we get a good relation with the, with the Shah. Nice little break. Wonderful. Wonderful. I've been overwhelmed by stress. Dandy, I love being overwhelmed by stress. Must this happen in game two? <laughs> Oh, I, sorry, I'm no longer overwhelmed by stress. I actually like it when that happens, yeah. Not, not even sarcastic there. But, uh... Alright. Come on, hurry up already. This is a, a slow fort to take. My god, we have onagers too. But, but strictly speaking, we don't have many. We'll have to get more. Uh, let's get a court physician. Seems like it's a good idea. Uh... I've heard good things about you, and I'm interested in starting a written conversation. I hope this letter finds you willing, and I'm waiting for your swift reply. Uh, yeah, sure. Why, why not? Why not? Frame the king's letter in my hall. No, no. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna start exchanging letters with King Yitan. Uh, if we can make him into a friend, that'd be great. Uh, okay, Golshan is known, widely known in certain circles. Uh, Golshan, you're down here. You're only 32. You are scaly, but you are a good physician. What does scaly give you? Fertility minus 20%, attraction, and vassal opinion. Otherwise, it's not particularly dangerous. She's just... <laughs> you're, you're a lizard, Golshan. Um, yeah, we're gonna hire her. I don't care if she's scaly, whatever. She's a good doctor. She can be as scaly as she damn wants. If you brought me a well-trained monitor lizard as, and you know, proved to me its skills in being a court physician, I will hire it. It's fine. I don't care what it is. We don't discriminate here. Uh, that and I like monitor lizards. Alright, uh, to the thoughtful Shah Khazro of Arsaria, thank you for your swift response. I'm looking forward to more correspondence. Oh, I bet he would love. Uh, tell me about tome collections. Oh yeah, he's got tons of learning, so we're gonna, we're gonna talk about learning. He, he probably doesn't care about gossip. And share books. Maybe he'll become a book buddy of mine. That's always good to have. Both in real life and in Crusader Kings. Mm. To think that you would ask a subject so dear to me. You truly know me better than most. Yeah, I looked at your stats. Since you have indulged me so, I must ask if there's anything I can do for you. Ah, I only wish to continue exchanging letters. Perhaps we could arrange a good trade deal. I mean, that's, that's also good. This is... Yeah, for diplomacy. I, I could use a diplomacy lifestyle perk, to be perfectly honest. Because I would actually like to get the befriend scheme. So that's going to help a lot. So the way how I see it right now is... We have two major threats to our sovereignty. Uh, yeah. One is Jetsu, but I can deal with them. If they attack me, I'm confident I can at least resist them long enough to force a white piece. Second is... 
the Summonids. Now, the Summonids alone I might be able to deal with, but they have lots of allies as well. Don't tell me this is J2. No, okay. Um, yeah, same with J2, actually. So both of these guys are threats. Um, point being, I would like to befriend one of their leaders, if possible. Why can I not befriend him? You are already scheming against him. I'm not scheming against him, okay? I'm scheming to him, sort of. We're going to befriend him. 100% success chance. That's great. I want him to be my friend. Hopefully he won't invade me then. And I'm not going to invade him. I'm going to pick apart these little nations first, all right? Uh, we're going we're gonna to go south. Uh, I know I need to recapture this area, and that would logically make me kind of pass through the Summonid territory. But right now, I don't want to deal with the Summonids, so... Um... I'm perfectly fine with um, just going south and moving through Afghanistan. Because when has a larger nation conquering Afghanistan ever gone poorly? Oh, Afghanistan, they call you the grave of empires, and for damn good reason. Don't mess with Afghanistan. But that's exactly what we're going to do, because uh, we, don't, we don't know that yet. The only, uh, the only example of that right now is Alexander the Great. And he actually was decently successful with Afghanistan, at least at first. I mean, he founded the, uh, the uh, what was it at first called? Satrapy of uh, Bactria, and then it, then it became its full, full-blown, uh, not a kingdom, but it was one of the Diadochi states. And it was very powerful. It was arguably one of the more powerful of the Diadochi states. So, I mean, thus far, that's what we have to work with. We don't know any of the stuff that happens later. So, seems all fine to me to uh, to attack Afghanistan. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Uh, it's kind of like when we attacked up here in Russia. What could possibly go wrong? We're not going to talk about it. Alright, we win this. We win the war. Great. War over. Alright, um, so this is going to allow us to imprison, rightfully imprison, Marzban Suarte, Ipakel, and Kubasar. Which we will do. Okay, we already got her. Maybe we already have all three of them. Okay, so we got Ipikel. Now, you... You're gonna renounce her claims and I'm gonna get a hook on her. Aside from that, she can keep her title. Right? It's perfectly fine. Marzaban Kubasar? Nah, I'd rather just... You know what? I don't need a hook on you. You're just gonna pay me a little and it's gonna be fine. Oh my god, I captured Min again. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't want to pay me. Because they're already... Uh, considering a response from me, I guess. You, however, unfortunately, are going to be banished. You will not accept a hook on me. Yeah, alright. Um, first off, did she assassinate my wife? She was wounded. Why was she wounded? Don't tell me she was tortured. Aggravated wound. Recently tortured. Oh, dear. And heal her wounds first. Use the best treatment available. Yeah, of course. Costs almost nothing. Absolutely no reason to do that. So. Um, I should be able to, I should be able to help along my attempts to befriend Shah Ahmad by presenting him with gifts. Everybody loves gifts. It's the thought that counts. Um, cheap gift. Yeah, I'll gain stress. It'll cost 50 gold, but it'll gain an exquisite gift. I already have maximum scheme power, so I, I don't think I need to worry about that. And I'm greedy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give him stuff. He should be giving me stuff. Okay, you don't like me too much anymore, but I have a hook on you, so what are you gonna do to me, right? Okay. So we have uh we have this victory here. Are there raiders still uh prowling around? No. So we're gonna disband. And uh that should be good. Be earning some money again. Okay, what's up? Uh, why is my wife still in prison? You're imprisoned by her. Use hook. Absolutely. So, you were tortured. You're going to the dungeon for a little while, all right? I'm going to release you eventually. But you're going to you're going to sit there and think about 
torturing somebody who does not deserve it, all right? Your father, at least by some standards, deserved his fate. He was a weasel, all right? My wife did nothing against you. You went into open rebellion, captured her, which is fine. If you would have just captured her and kept her under house arrest, a-okay, that's all fair in war. I would be letting you go right now. You would be banished, of course, but, uh... That's just how it's gonna be. But now, because he tortured her, you're going into the dungeon for a little while. Right? We're just. This war, how long did it last? A year and a half? How, how long did my wife spend in the dungeon? I don't think it says. Recently tortured. She was... Yeah, it, it doesn't say, unfortunately. But I'm assuming the, the war lasted about two years. So you're gonna spend two years in the dungeon yourself, and then I'm gonna banish you. If you die down there, well, I'm very sorry. It's not what I intended, but... It is what it's gonna be. I'm not gonna torture her, because I'm better than that. But, uh... I mean, that's happening. You, are, you now do not have a title anymore. <laughs> Alright, um, a promise of dedication would send a strong message about my good intentions towards Shah Ahmad. Anyone appreciates a powerful favor. Uh, this would give him a weak hook on me. I don't know if I want that. Make sure he remembers the promise every single day. That would give him a hook on me. That means I've indebted myself. Oh my god, I don't want that. Better to avoid things like this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. You're, you've been stripped of your title. No, we're not going to torture her. Alright. The time must go on. We're going to banish her and, and uh, have her uh, renounce her claims, if, if that's possible. Um, so this means we do now control directly the um, Mars Bennett of Toxin, which is, which is good, actually. This is not a bad territory to hold. Um, so we want to have more more levies. I need to start building up my military. I realize my military is quite weak in comparison to the powers around me. Oh, I clicked through that. I actually would have liked to have read that. Read that. Well, too late now. Um, okay, my son. Can he get married? I think he can, I think it's time. I think it's time he gets married. What are his traits, actually? He's, he's callous, he's just, he's temperate. I guess he learned his callousness from me, which is fair. But he is a genius. He's got quite good stats. Akura Mastak. All right. Let's, let's get you a wife. I was already clicking that. Thank you. Inheritable. That's quite... That's, that's not... Okay, this is even less to be sneezed at. Yeah, let's give him somebody with, with quite good... Uh, ooh. Ooh. So this is like a different trait. But that's very good. How old are you? You're 25. She's 30. I could. He's diligent, temperate, and paranoid. Eh, paranoid is annoying, but it's not so bad. You know what? Dulaba. Continue marrying people from... Oh, okay, I guess she's not Indian. She's she's uh, from Assam, which is... Over here? Somewhere? Assam? Assamese culture? Where is it? There it is. Up here. All right. No problem. We'll do that. He'll lose some prestige. That's okay. Let's get him a wife. Now, when that happens, she is, of course, going to convert to Manichaeanism. That's all right. And, uh, yeah, hold on. I also just noticed something. Ah, my son has become Uyghur. Really? Um, okay. Not much we can do about that, I guess. Well, okay, be nice to know how that happened, because I don't know, because I'm not, you know, again, I'm not completely familiar with this game. I know many of the intricacies, but not all of them. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, it's just some infighting, which is fine. They can infight all they want. Actually, I'd rather they don't, but not much we can do right now. Uh, Duo has decided... In the time uh, has decided that his time in Karashar has come to an end. Servants have packed his chests and he has said his farewells. With Duo Kao's his claim on the chiefdom of Yilinaj. Sorry, where is this again? All the way up there. May your journey be swift and safe. I'm not attacking that. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I mean, it's not that far away, but I would have to go through Gee, and I don't want to go through Gee. They can have it. I'd rather have a friend to my back. Um, hold on. So I have. Yeah, I've got my sister who is betrothed to Prince Zhao of Gee, which is good. So this, this gives us. Yeah, we, we have this alliance here, which is quite strong. Um, sorry, my sister. I mean, my daughter. All right? Prince Zhao of Gee. Um, this isn't going to end our scheme to befriend, uh, what's his name, right? Local fashions of symbolic, hold on. The trappings of majesty. I stand above my subject as a sovereign ruler, unequaled in the realm. Dressing the part with resplendent garments and jewelry would serve as a subtle reminder that I am in charge. Uh, only the finest ermine and velvet, that's very expensive. Uh, this will be a stewardship challenge to get some, uh, local fashion. Uh, I will probably do that. And I do not need stuff to legitimize my rulings. Uh, local fashions. Let's let's do that. All right. Nice. Give us some diplomacy lifestyle experience, which is good. Uh, each friend adds minus five. Oh, that would have been nice to have, but we already have it. Uh, well, come on now, stop. Please stop. Okay. Um, Ducal conquest. Title creation is minus twenty. Adaptive traditions. Foreign affairs. Effectiveness costs plus 20, or what? Foreign affairs effectiveness plus 25%. Okay, that's that's good. Fellow vassal opinion, independent ruler opinion. I can propose, yeah, let's do that. An alliance without marriage? Hold on. Are you my friend yet? This is, this is what I need to know. First off, is our scheme still going? It is not. Does this mean it worked? Let's check your relationships. Friends, you are my friend. Can we negotiate an alliance? Pose alliance, why not? <sighs> Differing faiths. Come on, we're best buddies. What's there to worry about? I don't want to invade you. You know who I do want to invade? Some people down here. It may be time for that. What do you have? You have an alliance with, uh... Kashmir? And, uh... The Shahi Satrapy. All right, so that's that's these three right here have a little uh, alliance block. I can for certain deal with that, and I think it's time I do deal with that. Oh, we can get another uh, Men at Arms regiment already. That's nice. What do we get? More horsemen? More light cav? Seems like the Iranian way. I mean, I mean, camel riders are good, but. It's not really sensible. Uh, Iran was not famous for its camel riders. That was more of a uh, an Arab thing. Uh, they were, however, famous for their light horsemen. And, you know, their archers weren't too shabby. I could get a bowman regiment, but that's mostly effective against light infantry. Though, admittedly, we'll probably be facing a lot of light infantry. And it's cheap men-at-arms, so, you know what? We'll do it. Bowman. For now. Let's have a nice, well-rounded um, force. Okay, we want to put a uh, rally point right here. And uh, I'm going to invade Kitral here. Actually, let me check. You only have two holding slots. You have four holding slots, and you already have some buildings. So actually, I'm going to I'm going to attack you. I'm very sorry, lady, but uh, we're going to we're going to conquer your county. I hope you don't mind. I have a feeling you will mind, but uh, it's all right. If, if we capture you, we're going to let you go just fine. I have nothing against you. I just need your land. She's uh, got a lot of men to defend her, that's for sure. I'm trembling in my boots right now. Ooh, look, she's called in allies. Big numbers here. Actually, okay, all right. It's bigger bigger than it was. She was weak, but she does have allies with some men, but we're going to crush them. <laughs> the only issue is that we will be fighting in the mountains, but now we will have the capital, and thus we will have the defensive position in the mountains, and they can do whatever the hell they want in our territory, because we'll take their capital first. All right, we are losing money. We need to do something about that. Um, we really need better infrastructure, but we'll, we'll work on that. Okay, it's going good. It's going good. All of you guys around here, big powers. I mean, Gee, I don't really have to worry about. Um, I could befriend him. How old is he? Actually, I'm going to befriend his, his, uh, his heir. That seems like an even better idea. I too cheer my Aswaran. Yeah, damn right I do. 
Today is our honor, my dear. Mm, that's also a good idea, right? Every Aswar gains 20 opinion of me for 8 years, or I'll be... I don't know, I'm already old. Well, let's just get some more prestige to do stuff with. My glory is widely known. Wonderful. It should be. Okay, they're conquering me way faster than I'm conquering them. That's... unfortunate. <laughs> I was expecting to have the upper hand here. Task aborted. Uh, why? Scheme in court. My spy master has come to me with grave news. We do not know who yet. Somebody is plotting to kill me. Oh dear. Who? It's probably one of my vassals. Shadokht Vimalaprabha Duda Vikarma of the Arsariad Shadam can no longer continue with increased control in county. Why is that? She's terrible. God. Why are you in this position? Oh my god, you used a hook on me to put yourself in this position. Ugh! Useless! Die! Do I need to do the same thing that I did to the last useless person that put themselves into this position? Why do you not... Uh, hold on. Make... What's your stat? You have seven? Oh my god, but he's better as my high almoner. Like, she would be fine as a high almoner. Um, but she's terrible. She's straight up terrible. As a marshal. Why would you put yourself in the position as a marshal? Okay, we need to restore order in Kairashar, actually. Let's just do that. You can do that. What's the chances of you doing something bad? Loss of county control. It's probably very high. <sighs> Go back to disrupting schemes, because right now somebody's trying to kill me, and I don't like that. Freedom and friendliness. Interpreting my recent friendliness as a sign, Prince Wenwei has come to me with concerns for one of my prisoners. Um... Oh yeah, right, her. Yeah, she's still in our dungeon. It would please me greatly if you were to release my acquaintance Suarte from her dungeon cell. Okay. This is actually good. I was gonna release her anyways. I just forgot about it, so she can go. It's time. You, you've paid your penance. Uh, we're gonna put him on the uh, council as my cupbearer, because he wants to be on my council. Uh, knowledge within grasp. Uh, I could always relax instead, or it would lose progress, or I... yeah. Intrigue study. Great. It's all good. Very high chance of success because of my kick-ass learning. Okay. This, uh, they have an army. Well, this was unexpected. Osmish died. No! How did he die? Don't tell me he died in battle. He died in battle. What a surprise. Oh, no. We're losing this war. This is embarrassing. Right. Okay. Requires a lot, but it's worth it. Yeah, let's go for it. I've been overwhelmed by stress. Fine. Donating to charity? No, thank you. And I'm not gonna whip myself either. We're not into that. Alright? <laughs> no, Osbish. You did so well. I'm sorry. You died. Uh, Alright, so we have Satrap Konchek of Chaklik. Oh my god, he's also just like... He's also very good um, here. I'm uh, gonna make him my high almoner now. I can't. Why not? Uh, sometimes, sometimes I don't understand why. Is this position not eligible for like big vassals? Is that is that what it is? I feel like that might be what it is. Um, last water here. Yeah, you're better. You are now my master of the horse. Oh, man, this is very. Very annoying. Now we're losing this war, which is disappointing. Incredibly disappointing. Why can't we just be better? Okay, I need to put up a new rally point right here. Okay. So we're going to retreat to somewhere around there. Let's raise all of our men. How many can we get? Tell me more than 40. You go up to there so that you can consolidate. Wow, only 40. Okay. This was not an effective conquest. Who would have thought attacking Afghanistan was a bad idea? If only somebody could have warned me of this beforehand. Nice. My daughter's doing better. Alright, we're gonna stay here and replenish a little. Um, who's in charge of our army? You're in charge of our army, that's fine. 
You're decently effective. Okay, we're getting more men. Continue building up more here. Let's just sit on this rally point. Ooh, one whole soldier to add to that. It's good. It's good. Soon enough, our numbers will be unstoppable at this rate. Right. Uh, let's let's see here. We need more Aswaran. This is this is unfortunate. Do I need to invite Aswar? I think I do. So we're we're out of knights. We Got to use that prestige for something, anyways. Okay. Two thousand. Nice. We outnumber them again. We're gonna sit right here in this fort. So uh, then you guys can come at me, bro. Aswar has arrived. Good. Good. Already. How is he? Ten gold. Not the best stats, but hey, I need more knights. I'll take it. They're winning this war. That is not good. Siege of Golag Muli is lost. Most unpleasant. Let's take it back. <sighs> this time I'm going to pay attention, or I'm going to try and pay attention to what my army is doing, and not have it run while I'm not looking what my army is doing. <laughs> so I'm going to get caught out by a bigger force that I probably could have picked apart before they rallied into one big force. Alright. My character is not an adept military commander, so I guess it's fine. Alright, let's let's take this fort here. Okay, they're they're hunkering down there, which is reasonable, I guess. Deeds of Heroes. I recently took the time to read through various books explaining the exploits and deeds of ancient heroes and warriors. It was informative and helped me better understand strategies. Uh, what makes a person brave and capable? Uh, let's let's do this. How to uphold justice and righteousness among all. Yeah, we may need a little bit of help with that. Okay. What are we doing here? Are you are you almost our friend? You are our friend. Wonderful. Yeah, somebody's trying to murder me. That's okay. Let's let's make friends with the uh, the Khan of uh, of Jetsu. Friends with everyone. Faction created against me. Screw you guys. Marspinet of Gogamuli. Why are you upset that you were conquered in a war that I started? I guess that's reasonable, but I've just liberated you, so kindly shut up. All right, we outnumber them. Uh, I, taking them will do nothing for me, but let's let's kill this one guy or however many there are here. <laughs> Another Aswar arrived. Wrong button. Ooh, you're good. Thirty gold. Deal. Join my court, and uh, first convert, and then get married. Let's find you a spouse. Uh, yeah, you. Some more. You get a nice martial lineage down there, huh? Alright. I wonder who's gonna win that one. Oh, look, it was me. It was a surprise. Alright, let's move up here. They're gonna come in. This should allow us to uh, head them off. And right now, we do have the numerical advantage. They're also separated as a force. Which should give me the advantage, but I don't know if we're going to be able to catch any of them. Because they're already moving away. They're already marching away, I should say. Maybe we catch the stragglers? That'd be great. Uh, okay, she's become a fortune builder. Nice. Alright, this is good. We caught we caught their scrap stragglers. Uh, arranged the marriage. Yes, do it. Let's get us that alliance. Oh, and it's matrilineal. Done. Nice. So you're in our court now. I mean, you aren't very good, but it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, we win this. Not as cleanly as I would have liked. Damn. Them Afghans. Look at that. They did some... They did some casualty. <laughs> they inflicted some casualties. Let me look at this. Wow. We, uh... He yeah, lost 400 men. Yeah, they killed more than we killed, for sure. But we did ultimately end up beating them. Um, so let's quickly move down here to ward them off. They will get there before us, unfortunately. Which means this will probably be another hard fight. Okay, they're retreating, so they're going to lose their defender, or some of their defender advantage, if I, if I got that correct. You, 19? Absolutely. Join me. Please. Uh, befriend. Knowledge within grasp. The subject deserves as much study as I can afford. Yeah, absolutely. Give me that learning challenge. Uh, hold on. 
So we got another knight coming in. Come on. Why can I not click this? Do I not have enough money? New diplomacy lifestyle perk. Excellent. We win that fight as well. Great. We're going to sit here on their capital. Uh, embassies. Each alliance. Yeah. It's going to be hard to gain alliances. Unfortunately. Let's increase our foreign affairs. Here. Um, time to hit the books. Marzavan Kubasar. Uh, so this will just get some of the random characters to uh, like me more. Why bother? Sogdian is clearly superior. Uh, okay, so I could learn a new language. Uh, I could learn the Uyghur language. Yeah, why not? Get some vassal opinion. Why can't I not recruit you? Oh yeah, I do not have 55 gold. That's why. Makes sense. Okay. Why are we still losing? I need to take their land, their capital, real quick. Otherwise, uh, this is just going to rage on. I hope they don't uh, reconvene here. Hold on, let's ward them off here. They're going to... Uh, we can beat them real quick. Kind of break their armies. Time well spent. Such a fascinating culture. I want to learn more. I could adopt the Uyghur culture. No. I mean, my son's already Uyghur, so we're going to have to deal with that eventually anyways. Oh, man. These are just brutal battles. Oh, my God. We outnumbered them two to one. And we're still losing. This is nuts. Ugh. Raise another army. My god. Retreat. Jesus. Where are you retreating to? You're retreating all the way up to Karkand. God damn it. Alright, get up there. You too. Raise an army here. Do we have anything? No, we don't. Oh my god, we're losing this. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna offer white peace. I won't. I pay a ton of money. That's what happens if I lose. How though? Like, come on. You don't have any of my territory. I've won as many battles as you have. War score from held objectives. Man. Them Afghans. <laughs> I like combatants slain. Yeah, I know. We lost another counselor somewhere. Oh my god, we lost all of the counselors. Alright, uh, no, I'm not gonna re So we'll recruit him. It's just so that I have a high almoner. We get him. You're the expensive 55 gold. No, I'm gonna save my money. I don't know what's... What anything's gonna cost me at the moment. Yeah, some of these wars... Not going super well, what can I say? Why are you still zero men? <laughs> I'm gonna retake their territory. We have it's weird, like we have a decent quality army. Is their quality like high or something? Is that is that what's going on here? I wish you could more easily click on the forces in question here. It'd be very good. Why? It's going to cost a lot of money if we lose this war. Like, a lot of money. Rokomuli is under siege. Yes, I am aware. Time zero. I don't get it. Whatever. Just unify everything. Let's recover our numbers. And I don't honestly think we're going to be able to win this. Yeah, we, we're going to lose. You know what? I'm going to issue my surrender right now. So, uh, gonna cost me a lot of money. Okay, note to self. Little teeny isolated Afghanistani. Afghanistani, yeah, is that how you call it? Uh, territories are not as poorly defended as possible. Alright, spouse, opportunity for trade. Uh, yeah, let's definitely trade with Shah Ahmad. None of them will come close to my gold. Yeah, but this will. This will gain. Yeah, we both get money. That's. Oh, this will give us even more. King Yitan of Gi. Actually, let's trade with our allies. Yeah. 
just in case uh, things happen. Get us the most money as possible as we go out of debt. Pays 10 to me for a ransom. Fine. No problem. Marzaban Artashir for 10 gold. Yeah. And you for 10 gold. Yeah, we need all the money we can get. Well, guys, this wasn't a good war, now was it? Uh, lessons learned, probably. I don't know, it just seemed like, you know, we, we would have an advantage. Shahi, Shahi was the problem. They, they brought in quite a few. How's Zunbil doing? Yeah, Zunists. Yeah. Maryul? Yeah, you guys are still strong. And you have a an alliance with Guge. Yeah, that's big. More than I can deal with. I just need to focus on infrastructure. And maybe taking some of these territories down here? I don't know. I just... For some reason, we, we just don't have many men. I mean, right now, I know why we don't have many men. But we don't have many men at the start anyways. Ah, lose opinion with... Uh, my spy master has come to me. It is my rival, Karachik. Who's Karachik? Karachik Tardu. Really? You're trying to kill me, huh? Well, I'll return the favor. Why is your husband dead? Out of old age. I don't even know who you are. Or why you want me dead. But... Guess we'll see what happens, huh? It's a low chance of success. Murder and murderer and root. Pay a hunter to draw a map. Explore the dry lands yourself. Abandon the idea. Uh, well, I'll see what happens. Maybe I can explore the dry lands myself. Let's not get ill. Good. It worked out for us. I mean, she's just a random noble, right? Oh, my counselor, your guy died. That's my spy master. Great. Let's uh, put my make my cupbearer into my spy master, and let's get the second highest Dulaba. Hey, that's my uh, son's wife. She can be my cupbearer. How could that possibly go wrong? What if my son, in his ambitions, decides to get his wife to poison me? Well, there's probably nothing I can do about it. Then I'll die and be playing as my son. Yeah. Yep. This was uh, this was unfortunate. Not the best course of action, but hey, we're almost out of debt. Should help things out. We have friends around us. Khan Kotyon, you're good. I'm gonna pin these characters just to make sure that I will keep track of them, so that if they die, I know what we'll, what to do. Uh, so you're an heir. I'm gonna befriend your heir as well, just to be sure. We're already befriending uh, Giyi's heir. There we go. The three major rulers around. We are friends with. We may be heretics to you, but uh, we are at least pleasant enough as people. I'm going to seclude myself to lose some stress. I truly am at peace. Yeah. Peace through seclusion. I understand, mate. All right, another diplomacy perk. Flexible truces. Shorter truces and no prestige penalty for breaking them, really. That seems very good. But let's do this. I want to go down here. So we're going to have to go uh, all through here anyways. Uh, forced vassalage may be nice. Uh, all right, befriend, bridging gaps. Uh, that'll give me stress. Everything will come up surely on its own. I don't need to befriend him super fast. Because Kochan died. Of course he did. The high almoner I just hired. Immediately dead. Alright. Uh, start exchanging letters with... Uh, yeah. With Zhenji. You're the... Uh, Gyaplo of Kyuge. Oh, interesting. Why not? You want to be friends? I'm fine with being friends. I have no uh, I have no aspirations to conquer your land. That's some money. That's good. What are you good at? Not really anything. 
Please tell me about various poisons and their application. You're deceitful. It's, I guess, your best, uh, your best stat is intrigue. So let's let's go with that. You're also scaly. You don't want to tell me about lizards. Sorry, that was callous of me. <laughs> Oops. Well, I'm sorry. I thought it was a good conversation subject. Levy leaves farmland empty. Great. You're messing up my territories. Um, effects on you. I pay 20 bucks to get... Who are you? An honorable lackey with no skills? Decline. I'm not paying money for him. All right, we almost have enough money to buy stuff again. Uh, let's, okay, that's already upgraded completely. Uh, Luntai. Yeah, we can have a whole lot more stuff here. Getting some more, uh, okay, a verdict from heaven. We shall tell Nasser, Shah Nasser about this. Uh, Shah, Shah Ahmad um, has told me a vision from Allah. Apparently Nasser and I are divinely ordained to be friends. How advantageous. Ahmad, let us pray together in, gratit in gratitude. Uh, so, the friend scheme gains 5% chance. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? A curse undone. Not a day too soon. Okay. Arrival, Akgul. Who are you? We apparently didn't like each other too much, but now you're dead, so great. Ditch some stress. It's always nice when your rivals die, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. What to build next? I think camelry. Get us more knights wherever we can. Goodwill, huh? Uh, no, I do not want anybody to have hooks over me. Thank you. Gulshan, gain the trait. A renowned physician. Nice! You may be scaly, but you're a good physician. You should also convert to Manichaeanism. We're not going to give you a husband. We don't need more scaly people. All right, uh, here. So, okay, so there is the camelry, uh, but this is going to increase money and levies, so we're going to do that at first. A cask of wine! Karachik will soon attend a celebration. Um, yeah, sure, why not? I, I don't really care if it fails, honestly. Cask of wine. Karachik is dead. Nice. So we poisoned her with wine. Great. Oh, no. We put her to sleep with wine, and then we walled her... We built... A new cellar around her, so she's walled in. Oh, that's terrible. Ugh, horrible. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> uh, okay, but I lose stress. <laughs> and gain some stuff. I also lose piety, but... Who needs that, really? Um... Yeah, he's a very good knight, and he's young. No, he's not. He's 44, but he is a good knight. Can I get him? It's a lot of gold. A lot of gold that I could spend on other stuff, I feel. And I will spend on other stuff. Sorry, mate. I thought we just built this, but apparently we didn't click on it. Now we did. Let's build pastoral lands. Alright, alright. Continuing on. Salmonids. How are you guys doing? Having some, uh... Oh, you're attacking the Caliph, are you? Interesting. To the abhorrent Shah Khosro, you have been burdened, or we have been burdened with your oppressive laws for too long. Who, where, who and where are you? You're of the, no, peasants. Go back and toil in the fields. You have no place making your own decisions. My god. Peasants these days, am I right? Cannot be trusted to do anything right. Let's put them down. You. Yeah, you're pretty good. Pretty good at that, huh? We're gonna... As I normally do. <laughs> Recruit the peasant leaders. We're diplomatic. We can do it. Alright, mate. You are Manichaean already, so... Let's recruit you. And gain a hook on you. You have good stats. You don't like me, but that's okay. 
See, now you have a hat. Look at that. This is what you get for joining the noble court. You're still wearing filthy peasant rags, but you have a uh, you have a hat now. I consider it a resounding upgrade. I would love to get rid of her. My God. I would love to make you my marshal, just to spite her. Make a commoner my marshal. Satrap Konchek can be... Okay, so th that rule apparently doesn't apply. I still don't understand when one can be a high almoner and when one cannot be a high almoner. But, Satrap Konchek, you are my high almoner. Congratulations. Uh, you, with your terrible stats, need to go and start exerting control over lands. We also, quite possibly, actually have some faith issues here. We've got some Mahayana areas. I don't really care too much about that religion. And then some cultural discrepancies, which we're going to need to deal with. Uh, that's Uyghur. I'm going to keep that. We are going to convert the Tokarians. I'm going to keep the Uyghur culture just because my son is Uyghur and we may... Yeah. Might cause issues. With that. But uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But uh, we're, doing, we're doing pretty okay. Aksu is under siege. Why? Oh, that was the peasant revolts. Never mind. Faction targeting you is disbanded. Yeah, it was crushed. Violently. But we, we got uh, we got their their guy. Who, uh, I guess we promoted to a knight, which was always good. Um, after learning that Nasser would be attending a dance in the village of Ramitan, I decided that it would be a perfect occasion to pass by to ensure I get some time to face-to-face -to -face with him. The bell was exquisite, and Nasser put on quite a fine show. Afterwards, I told him how impressed I was, and we got to talking. By the time I left, I felt as though we had known each other a lifetime already. Alright, nice. I'm friends with the, uh, the heir of the Summonids. Always good. I'm friends with the, uh, leader... And heir of Giyi. Let's become friends with the heir of Zetsu. <laughs> friends for everyone. <laughs> That's what we're going to call this episode, probably. <laughs> Let's be friends, or something, something stupid like that. <laughs> Maybe friends and enemies, because we also had some enemies, right? The uh, Countess of uh, Toxun Suarte. I wonder where she's off to. Oh, she's okay, honestly. Like, she was misguided by rage and vengeance, which is understandable, but maybe one day she'll find peace somewhere. I hope she does. Uh, frame Gyalpo's letter. No, start exchanging letters with him. Yeah, we need, we need to become friends with him, too. Since he wants to be friends, I'm not going to turn that down. The more friends in places, the better. So he's the uh, leader of uh, Guge. Let us discuss the finer points of etiquette. So he doesn't like poisons. I could send him a gift, but I don't want to. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. A final verdict from heaven. Shah Ahmad told me of a vision from Allah. Apparently, me and Chieftain Kotian. What? Shah Ahmad! How do you know all of these things? Uh, you know, maybe you know me well, so. Yes, you do. The friend's scheme gained some extra potency. Sounds good to me. Oops. Okay. He gives me compliments and he expects money in return. What a dickhead. I'm not going to give it to him. Continue to insult him. Fine, let's build some camelry. Camels everywhere. A gesture of generosity. Uh, I don't want to give up my money. I'm greedy. So we're not doing that. We don't give gifts out. They'll like us because of who we are, not because we bribe them. One day, you, I will conquer you. You may have gotten the upper hand on me the last time for reasons that I don't completely understand. I mean, aside from the whole notion of don't mess with Afghanistan. <laughs> which, okay, is this even Afghanistan? This is like Punjab, which which isn't really, no. This, this <laughs> strictly speaking, this isn't Afghanistan, but it's, uh... Are they Afghan culture? No, they're Kashmir. Okay, well, even less. The point still stands. Don't mess with Kashmir either. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, forced vassalization casts a spelly. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do too much of that. Shorter truces and no prestige penalty for breaking them or embassies. Let's do this. Uh, I don't know how many alliances we're going to be able to get. But hey, maybe we'll be able to like negotiate an alliance here with Zetsu. No. This whole not being of the same faith thing is going to be a huge problem, because no one is of our faith. <laughs> Upsundur Hollow. That's the name of a nation? Is it like, a hollow? Or is the nation going hollow? In which case... 
we need the chosen undead to save us. Sorry. I cannot promise that I will stop making Soulsborne references in every video. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, we just continue on here. Uh, let time run by, get more money, build more infrastructure. It's basically all we can do right now. Uh, let me look at the cultural innovations, which is going to be a bit uh, annoying considering... Okay, we're researching Banus. That's... See, that's okay with the levy reinforcement rate right now. It's fine. Futua would allow me to get IRs as men at arms, which are good. Basically, like, special heavy infantry. Hook on Sama Gatrate has expired. Befriend, knowledge within grasp. Yes, do that. Absolutely. Get more of that studied interest stuff. Alright, we're coming. We're getting there in age. We're 62. Our son has a son and a daughter, which is good. The grandson is a genius. That's good. I want to... Hmm. I kind of want to push him towards a uh, diplomatic lifestyle here. I'm going to educate him myself. We're going to convert his culture back to Sogdian. <laughs> and you... Same deal. I actually want you to potentially go into... You're also genius. I want you to be in stewardship. We're going to educate you ourselves as well. Nice. And, yeah, how are we doing here? So, yeah, so I can't invade you. What about Mariul? What is the current... Uh, no, I don't want to arrange marriage. I want to... I want to potentially invade you. Their military strength is similar to ours. Could do a holy war for their entire kingdom. Uh, that would give me two kingdom titles, but that's okay. What about my allies? So I do have two allies that I could bring in, both of whom have a lot. This would be very risky to pull off. I would have the numbers. Count Zhao of Karas. Get on. Uh, ah, nice. This is one of the accounts of uh, Gi Yi. And I'm, of course, allied to the king of Gi Yi as well. Which is strong. Quite strong. Negotiate alliance. Hell yes! And his son. Nice. Absolutely. Okay. This big key goal of our game is we are going to form as strong an alliance as possible with the uh, the Han here. Or are they Han? I think they're Han. Yeah, they're Han. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, allying with the, with the Chinese, having the friendly Chinese at your back, that, that does not sound like a bad idea in any way, shape, or form. Um, so now the question is, is do I attack Mariul to get more ground? Because that would give me a far better... Um, point of potential uh, conquest to get into uh, the Punjab in Afghanistan, because eventually, remember, I need to move west, but right now I'm not attacking the Samanids, partly because they'll probably beat me, partly because I'm friends with their leader, and I'm friends with their heir, so I, I foresee a potential long alliance with the Samanids. We maybe have different faiths, but uh, we're, both, we're both Persian in origin, or Iranian in origin. We can be friends. Um, but you, on the other hand, this is risky, if I do this. Very risky. Because he has Jazul and Dankar. Okay, this isn't actually anything very big, whereas I have three allies. They're in merely, yeah, do it. Absolutely, let's call our allies in. Allies. What do you mean they don't want? Maybe I can't do it yet. I hope that's the case. I really hope that's the case. All right, beeline for their capital. Or not. Maybe we, we take it slow, we cut through. Call to war. To the shopful Shah Khazro. Uh, join me in the Barkulian claim against the county of something something. Yeah, absolutely. I can't help you right now, but... Why not? Why do I not get to call my allies in? Uh, 
Call to war? He will. Okay. Yeah. 350 prestige. I mean, it's not like I'm doing anything else with it, right? This is a piety war here. This is a holy war. Which, you know, is risky. It's definitely risky. But we now have an ally. Um, I'm... I don't think I'm going to do a straight beeline. I'm going to try and take some of these baronies first. Um, just so that I can have some, like, supply... Supply train. What happened to their armies? Did they just disband them? What was that? Was that just a graphical bug? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. But let's take the Barony of Diskit. We'll be able, we should be able to take that reasonably quickly. We are fighting in these uh, mountains here. Okay, now they're levying up an army, but it's not particularly large. In that case, maybe we should go for their capital before they get large. We can pick part of their army off right here, right now. Yep. They have the uh, numerical, or we have the numerical advantage by a long shot. But I'm just gonna go out a go out on a limb here and say that they probably inflicted more casualties on. Never mind, we slaughtered them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well that's good. Taking their capital is going to be uh, quite handy. Ah, my friend Kotian died. Is that uh, Khan Kotian? All right, so it's now Khan Kotian the second. But he's also our friend, right? You are our friend. Good on you. Great. Let's uh, immediately get to befriending... Oh, we can't. You're still a child. Okay. That's fine. Cool. It's going well. It's going well. Uh, as soon as this war is over, we're going to end the episode, by the way. And uh, I think we should be able to win this war because we have a uh, giant Chinese army coming in to support us. I wish I could help up here, and I will as soon as this war is over. Uh, and that one's already over, so great. Okay, here come the enemies, but chances are we should be able to fend them off. Okay, it's more enemies than I thought. Let's quickly take this capital. Come on, Gi Yi. Help me out here. It should be here in time. We can quickly take the capital. We can start picking off some of the uh, the men's. Nice. We took. Uh, I took the uh, the king's daughter captive. I took a lot of his children captive. By the looks of it, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill them again. I have no uh, actual quarrel with this king. I just need his lands. Are you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're you're a son. And you are a daughter of the king. We'll ransom them when the time comes. But uh, we need to win the war first. And win that war we shall. Let's smite this little itty bitty army. Uh, a threat. Something, something, acts around my wife, casts something, wanders in the M2. Must be plotting something. Pay close attention to. Oh, my wife is plotting something. Wait. My wife must be warned? I'm probably mistaken. Or she gets... Is exposed as an agent scheme. What? She's... In a scheme to murder herself? What? <laughs> What's happening here? I feel like this is a bug. <laughs> Either that or it's an elaborate suicide attempt. <laughs> Well, let's destroy this little army. These look like, uh... Some other force that I don't really need to worry too much about. I don't think they're directly involved in this war. A threat! My wife must be warned! Okay, it keeps happening. This is... Interesting. It's fine, I'll keep getting 20 opinion with her. Let's, uh, let's round them off. Yes, good. Good, good, good. They're probably going to get away. They are going to get away. Unfortunate. Then you know what? Fine. You get away. I'm going to take another castle of yours. And uh, we'll take that castle too while we're at it. There we go. And 
GE's coming in for the support. My god, why does this keep happening? We are getting destroyed. Now we're not getting destroyed, but we were getting destroyed. Uh, deviled eggs. Oh, deviled eggs. Uh, vegetables. Who says abstaining from abscess isn't delicious? Uh, meat. I want something to strengthen me. Or milk, cream, or cheese. It tastes richer and shall fatten me as well. Um, yeah, we we abstain from access or excess. We abstain from excess because we are Manichaean. So we're gonna do this. My counselor, Tahun has died. No, you were my court champion. Yeah, my knights are dying in droves here. Uh, yeah, there's still this guy. He was good. But he's 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 old, but you know what? Fine, we'll hire him now. We'll assign him as our. Uh, King or, or leader knight. Um, all right, King Yitan gains twenty opinion. I will win their unwavering loyalty. You gain generous liege. Oh, minus five percent vassal taxes. That I cannot do. I'm greedy. Let's uh, please King Yitan, even though we don't need to. All right, how are we doing here? Doing all right. Unpause. Keep going. Finish this war and the episode. That's how this goes. We're, uh, we're gonna take a lot of land here pretty soon. We must stop the villain behind this. Yeah, I know who's plotting against you, wife. It's you. <laughs> Come closer, Ahmad. I have something to confess. Oh no, he's gonna learn of my murder secret. That's not good. Okay. Hmm. Nice. Talun is temperate. Very good. Why are you guys not doing anything? You should be ravaging the land. No! Kochan, the new one. <laughs> it's not a good day for Khan Kochans. Khan Kochan the third. I don't think we can... Oh, we can befriend him already. Excellent. Let's do it. Let's pin him. Nearby ruler. And, uh... <laughs> Hopefully he'll last longer than the previous two Kotyans. <laughs> Flexible truces, great. Probably should have gotten the Alliance one, but... Yeah. Siege of Korea, lost! This is a big army. Jazul. Oh man. This is annoying. They're coming behind my lines. My... My forces are getting... Bushwhacked by winter. Time to write this wrong. Yeah, increase their feudal taxes. Absolutely. Increase everyone's feudal taxes. Alright, we'll take these two territories. That'll give us an advantage. Then I want to swing back and uh, liberate the territories that were taken from me. If you would do something, that'd be standard. Oh, you are doing something. Great. Okay, it just doesn't show the siege animation for non or for your allies apparently. Uh, but thank you for that. That is that is good. You're gonna go up here, rejoin them. Because there are a couple of hostile forces that are not involved in our war, but... I hope this doesn't, like, cause extensive border gore <laughs> when the time comes. But, uh, come on now. Let's get that war score going, would ya? Okay, we've got the mangonels in here. We've taken this land as well. Okay, please stop. It's a city. It's another barony. I would like to be able to sneak up through here, but these forces are kind of moving through there as well, and I don't want to uh, get involved with whatever conflict they're having. I'm going to need my forces to deal with... Uh... That is a big army! Rima Dankar Cherchen. Yeah, so, okay. This is, this is a bit of a problem. This is the issue with Holy Wars. It's just like everybody and their dog just jumps in on it. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's let's levy up a new new force. See what we can muster to bring down here and hit that territory. I hope it's enough men. Okay, once again we have this annoying <laughs> Army of One. Uh, no, I do not want to form a rivalry with anybody. Who is this? Yeah, okay, a man in white. You gain punished fake ghost. Yeah, great. 
acquaintance taken prisoner. A wanderer from Siberia. He is welcome to stay at our court. Who are you? What are your stats? No, I don't. I don't need you. Sorry. Um, how long is this going to take to besiege here? Nine months. It's going to put us in a dangerous... Because uh, the reason why we took so many casualties last time is because of the, uh, the winter attrition. Because we are basically fighting in Tibet. This is... That is a big army. That is a very big army. What's their... I really wish you could look at their quality very easily. But yeah. You can't. This may be a long war. I feel like it is going to be a long war. Um, in which case, we are... At a pretty long point in this episode. Um... Which leads me to think uh, that this may be a good place to call it. It's not actually a good place to call it. This is a pretty bad place to call it. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, going to be a bit of a cliffhanger, I guess, to see if we actually are able to win this this time. Uh, which is not guaranteed. I thought it would be a much more easy victory. But once again, it seems like these nations down here are quite good at defending themselves. Which makes sense. They're all in very mountainous, harsh regions. So... Yeah. Well, guys, this is where I'm going to call it, as it turns out. And um, I hope you guys did enjoy it, nonetheless. And uh, don't forget to leave that like. Subscribe if you aren't already subscribed, because uh, this campaign will be continuing on. And um, I will, of course, as soon as this campaign is over, I will be playing another Crusader Kings campaign. I actually have created the framework of it already. I'm going to be playing as a Yazidi in uh, in Iraq, starting in the Hakari province. And uh, we're going to try and <laughs> reform the Yazidi faith right smack dab in the middle of the Abbasid Caliphate, which we'll see how well that works. But, uh, you know, it may, it, may, it may die early, but this one might also die early. It almost did. Guys, have a good rest of the day. Evening, night, morning, whatever time of day it is for you guys. Catch you all later.